All right, so I'm just putting my two Pillsbury pie crusts right on top of each other because we want a nice thick crust for this dessert. Grab a rolling pin and just start rolling those two crusts together, nice and thick. We are gonna make a big rectangle shape out of these two pie crusts. So try to get, you know, a generous size rectangle out of your two pie crusts. I love using the Pillsbury pie crust because it tastes homemade and it's so convenient. But like I always say, you can make your homemade pie crust if that's what you prefer. I'm sure it's delicious, but it's gonna take twice as long to make it, this dessert, if you're doing everything homemade. Okay, just get this nice and rolled together. Okay, once this is nice and rolled out, we're gonna go ahead, transfer it to our cutting board. Should just come right up. Easy peasy. Because we are gonna cut this into that beautiful rectangle shape that I mentioned. And this board kind of just gives us a nice little guideline for what the shape should look like. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna use a pizza cutter and we're just gonna cut all those ugly rounded pieces off. So we do not want any round edges on a rectangle. Beautiful save these pieces to make a little cinnamon sugar bites. Put them to the side. And now we have a beautiful rectangle. Okay. I'm grabbing a sheet pan right here. Go ahead and put our pie crust right on top. And now it's time for the fun part. I am making a four fruit preserve pie mini pies, but you'll see how we make them mini once it's baked. And we're gonna use a generous amount of this preserve. So this is strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and cherries all in one preserve. I mean, it does not get any better than that. I mean, they could add some blackberries, but I understand four is already a lot. And you could use whatever flavor you want. Like if you don't like raspberries, you could just do a strawberry preserve. And if you don't like blueberries, you could do a raspberry preserve. But I loved this four preserve. It tastes so good and it just gets all those beautiful summer fruits in one preserve. And we're gonna spread this almost to the edge, but not fully on the edge because we do wanna make this almost like a little pie pocket. And with that, we need to have a nice clean edge. Oh, this is looking so delicious. Oh my. And I know you guys can make your own preserves as well. If you guys have a beautiful preserve recipe, put it down in the comments so I can try it out. I would love to try out homemade preserves. Okay, I think we're gonna use this whole jar. So this is 13 ounces of our four fruit preserves. And I got this at Smith's, which also is Kroger. So if you have a Kroger or a Smith's near you, you should have no problem finding this four fruit preserves right next to the jam. Okay. Now, with all beautiful and good summer desserts, we have to add some freshness to this. So I have some blueberries, some raspberries, and some strawberries cut up that we're gonna sprinkle right on there. I didn't wanna do cherries because I didn't feel like pitting cherries today, but you could obviously add some fresh cherries in there as well, if that's your style. But I know that pitting cherries is just not for me. So I'm only going for the three fresh fruits in here. It won't make it any less tasty. We're just gonna do a nice sprinkle so that each bite has some fresh fruit. Ooh yeah, this is gonna be so good. It's just gonna be a little burst of juicy goodness in our little pie. Okay, almost done here. Just like I said, make sure each bite gets some kind of fruit in there. Probably use some more blueberries. They can just sneak in wherever they want. Oh look, a blackberry. How'd that get in there? Oh well. It'll taste good in there. That'll be my bite. Okay, almost done. I really want this to be colorful and beautiful and everything good. Perfect. Ah, oh, I'm loving how this is looking already. 
All right, now that our fresh fruit's there, it's time to cover it up with another pie crust. So I did make this out of two Pillsbury pie crusts, just like I did with the bottom. And let's go ahead, instead of just flipping that over, I wanna make sure this goes on nicely. I'm gonna peel it off, line it up the best you can, and cover it. Ooh, yeah, okay. Look at all that goodness. It's okay if it oozes out a little bit. Everything good is ooh, ooey and gooey and delicious. Grab a fork and just like you would with a normal pie, we're gonna close up those edges super tight and good so we can make sure that pie filling doesn't escape any more than it already wants to. Beautiful. Now to give some more air room for that preserves, we're gonna give some fork holes just right in the middle just sporadically. Perfect. One last step. I have an egg here. We're gonna go ahead and break it up because we are gonna do an egg wash on our little pie pocket. I mean, this is just gonna add that beautiful golden brown that we want. It's gonna make it flaky and just so good. And if you don't have an egg, you can use some butter. You can even just sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top if that's your style. But for me, I find that the egg just makes it the most flaky and beautiful golden brown. So once that's broken up, just brush it on the entire pie pocket. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so incredible. I cannot wait for you guys to see this when it comes out of the oven. I could have been a little bit cleaner with those edges, but you know what? Nothing's perfect. Everything has a little character to it. And we are gonna cut this up and it's gonna look incredible. People are gonna bite it and think you bought it at the store because it's so good. Okay, perfect. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so my oven is set to 350 and this is gonna cook quick because it's so thin. So it's probably gonna be in there for like 20 to 25 minutes. Now, while that's in the oven, I'm gonna grab a small bowl and a whisk. I have some powdered sugar here and we're just gonna make a super quick and super easy icing for that pie pocket we just made. We're gonna do about half a cup of powdered sugar in there. And then this is only gonna need about one tablespoon of milk and you can use whatever milk you prefer. Maybe even less than a tablespoon. It's super quick, just two ingredients and you should get a nice creamy icing just like that would go on like a cinnamon roll or you know even a, like a pop tart or something like that it's so quick and so easy look i think i even did too much milk in that because it needs to be thicker than that so if you have that same problem as me you just add a little bit more powdered sugar until it's the right consistency that's the best part about this recipe is if you don't get it right the first time it's so easy to correct yourself so just keep mixing it until it's a creamy icing. Ooh, yeah, just like what would go on a cinnamon roll. That's kind of what we're looking for. Almost there. I think we could add a little bit more powdered sugar. So it's probably going to be about half a cup with one teaspoon, not tablespoon. Maybe that's where I went wrong. Perfect. But if you do a teaspoon instead of a tablespoon of milk, I think you'll get the consistency right away. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Okay. We have a beautiful icing to go on top of our pie pocket. Yum. Oh my, it looks so golden and beautiful. Mm. All right, and you know that preserves didn't wanna stay in there, but that's okay. It doesn't make it any less delicious. We're gonna make this extra pretty with that homemade icing we just made. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. So what I like to do with my icing is just take my whisk and just drizzle it right on there. Just makes it nice and pretty. The easiest way to get your icing on your desserts. Oh my goodness, we're gonna use that whole thing. We made the perfect amount for our little four fruit pie pocket. Oh, and doesn't that just make it look so much prettier? All right, and it's gonna make it nice and sweet and go so well with those preserves that we have in there and the fresh fruit. All right, now we're talking. That looks delicious. It is time to cut into this. I think I want a nice corner piece. So how we make them bites is we're just gonna cut right in here and cut them into little pie bites, just like this. 
and then people can just grab the bite they want and take it right off the pan. No mess, no stress, just delicious dessert. Oh yeah. Everyone knows stressed spelled backwards is desserts, so that's what I'm doing today. Okay. Oh my, I can just tell that pie crust is cooked perfectly. And look, now we have the most gorgeous pie bites, you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this little corner piece. Oh, look, it comes out perfectly. Uh, yes, all right, I need to try this right now. Mm. Mm. That was like heaven. Mm. Mm.